Hey everyone, today I'm starting out with no hair on. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you the Paula Young Mora wig in their exclusive color, I think just for this wig, and it's called Golden Truffle, and it's 1788S. That's the model wearing that color and the Mora style. I've just taken Mora out of the box and this is how she looks. So that 1788S is a really pretty and dynamic color. Lots of those blonde highlights, especially here towards the front, on one side at least, not really on the other side as much, but you can definitely move that over. I'll show you the cap in just a second but it's just really a bob. Let me show you the card. The inside of the cap, so just a basic cap. It has the nice soft front there for you. Rose lace top, open wefted. The back is not extended, so no extended nape. Velcro adjusters, which I like. The ear tabs are the open, ear tabs as you can see there's there are the fibers spliced in there so that's really nice good amount of stretch now I want to talk about the top there so as you can see it has that cross hatch whatever pleated part however you want to call it I have looked at lots and lots of wigs on the Paula Young website and I've seen several reviews of people who sent back their wig because it came with a part like this. Don't forget that you've got to take that part out. So you need to get a comb, wide tooth comb, and really just run it through there. And that will come out. Sometimes it's, it's easy, sometimes you have to work at it a little bit. One other thing that you wanna do when you first get the wig is just get it out and shake it. You're not gonna hurt it. Okay, so just get it out and shake it. You see me, I'm shaking it pretty hard there. And you can see, see that permatease? There's permatease there on top. It's not pillowy permatease from what I can feel from it here. I haven't put this on my head yet, but from what I can feel here, it's not pillowy permatease. I think it's just to give it a little bit of lift. Um, and it's just a little bit because if you didn't have that, then it would be, just be flat on the top of the head. Because this is that basic cap, you can move that part around. So you aren't married to that part. So I'm just gonna kinda mess with it here and see what it wants to do. Now, as you can see, so I kind of, let's see where the ear tabs, the ear tabs are here and here. I kind of moved it over, and when you do that, it really changes the color just a little bit, right? Because it moves those highlights around. To me, that's a good thing. I like that it does that because it's almost like you can change, you can change your hair color slightly, very easily. I moved it to the other side, and it looks like that. Now you might be wondering a little bit more about this color. I am gonna show you what this looks like outside. It's a very sunny day outside, so I'll probably, I'm gonna to try to get footage like in the sun and then also in the shade. Right now I'm actually in front of my front door. Uh, this is my foyer here and I have windows in front of me. I have two lights over here. I'm not sure the lights are really doing anything because it's a pretty bright day. So you'll be able to see what the color looks like. Unfortunately, Paula Young doesn't have like the best color help, I guess is what you'd say. So we know that it's called Golden Truffle and we know that it is uh, 1788S. That's all we know about it. I'm gonna show you one other wig that I found that when I first saw this, it kind of reminded me of it. Now, is this a color dupe? No, definitely not, but it's very similar. Now, this is John Renault and this is the style Giselle, and it's in the color FS2631S6. This is salted caramel. I've already done a review on this wig. Now, like I said, this is not a color dupe. It's only to kind of show you, okay, I see where, I know salted caramel, so I can see kind of where golden truffle might be. So there you go. As you can see, golden truffle here has some more brown in it than salted caramel does. 
But overall, those highlights really remind me of each other. This one is definitely more heavily highlighted, as you can see. So the salted caramel, more heavily highlighted. But just to kind of give you a point of reference, if you're familiar with salted caramel, golden truffle, salted caramel. All right, enough talk. Let me go ahead and put this baby on. I'm gonna tighten it just a tad bit because I'm gonna be messing with it a little bit. So just so you know, I have my uh, phone viewfinder here. Is that what it's called, viewfinder? And that's it. I don't have a mirror, unfortunately. I think I'd learn after all this time reviewing wigs, but. Okay, I'm gonna run to my bathroom and get some water and some hairspray. All right, I put a little water around in this area here. I really like these highlights on top there. I also put a little bit of hairspray like right in here. This is the hairspray I'm using, the Style and Hold Beauty by Beauty Mark. I really like this. I like the smell of it too. So that's a big, that's a big plus. I'm just gonna kind of put it right there because I feel like it's falling right there. So I'm just gonna stick it right there for just a second. I actually really like this. I don't normally go this light. As you know, that salted caramel was probably, might be like the lightest that I've gone. So you can see kind of that angle right there. It's not totally angled like something like on point for Marco Welch. It's not like that. That's really angled in, but just a little bit of swoop there. I'm gonna show you Mora from All Sides. So let me read you just a little bit about what they say about Mora. So sleek, straight layers with blunt pre precision cut in. So you can kind of see that. That's that blunt. And I think in the back you can see it as well. It uh, gives this collar, the chic collar length bob wig a thoroughly modern look. I think so. I mean, it's nice, right? It has synthetic fibers, obviously. Permatease. So the permatease on top. I don't feel like there's any permatease like in the back. Yeah, no permatease in the back. Right in here, there's some, but I don't feel like, again, it's not that really thick permatease. It's just there to keep the fibers off the cap so that the wefts don't show. The measurements, so length, five and a half in the front. So these bangs, if I brought them down, not really bangs, but you could cut bangs. So five and a half, they, you know, come down to like right here on me. Ten and a half at the top, so ten and a half up here. Nine and a half at the crown. Six and a half at the sides. Maybe that's the six and a half right there, six and a half at the sides. The weight is 3.4 inches, ounces, excuse me. The nape is three inches, so good nape, I like that. And upper back is nine and a half, okay? So just really your standard bob. I mean, nothing special as far as that's concerned. Let me show you the ear tabs, pull those forward. You see my hair there. And here's that ear tab right there. There. Okay. I really like this one. So I've been a little bummed about Polly Young wigs lately. I feel like I haven't gotten one that I've really, really enjoyed. But this one, I do. You know, it kind of, it, I can get it off my face. And I don't feel like the wefts are showing. It's lightweight. This is not VersaFiber. It doesn't say anywhere on there that it's VersaFiber. I don't think it's the Whisper Light either. It doesn't say that it's either one. As far as styling this wig, you know what? You don't have to do a whole lot to it because it's off the face. I got it off the face. Uh, there isn't a lace front, so you can't, I mean, I guess you could. You just have to be really careful uh, about pulling the top there. And just get a little, little bitty one, little bitty clip here. So you could do that. I don't think that calls attention to the top or anything. You could do that. As far as pulling it back, I mean, there's not much to pull back there, you see. It's just a little bitty, little bitty tail there. I might be able to pull this back. Let me see if I can clip it. Okay, so I have no idea how that looks, but there you go. 
I think this color is really good for this wig. I think because there are some different lengths. I mean, you've seen me kind of bring out some different lengths here and where they've placed the highlights are really nice. So when I first saw this color, I was like, eh, I don't know, 1788. I'm not sure that I could do a 1788, but you know what? I really do like it. It has enough brown in it to ground it. So if you're not one who likes to wear, um, blondes i think it has enough of that in there to ground it for you but if you are blonde and maybe you want to go a little darker i think this might be a good one too unfortunately i believe it's only on this wig so maybe they could bring it in other styles i don't know but i actually really like it all right that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching i hope you will like and subscribe and just so you know if you're here for um, the wig review and maybe you subscribe and you see something else another type of video from me just know that i do wig reviews i do handbag unboxings maybe some beauty stuff but they're all kind of in there together so in there interspersed you will get re wig reviews but you'll get also some handbag stuff and maybe some shoes maybe some beauty and i'm actually thinking about doing some cooking videos soon so keep that in mind i hope you don't uns unsubscribe thinking i'm not doing it uh wig videos anymore but i am so thank you so much for being here have a great day and i will talk to you soon bye coming back because I think I may have found another color that matches better than the Salted Caramel, and that is Aesthetica's Caramel Kiss. Is this rooted? I think this one. Yeah, this is Caramel Kiss RT4. Thank God for Aesthetica because they always put the color name on the inside. But you can see lots of highlights. Again, Aesthetica here is longer, so you're going to feel like you have more highlights, but it does have kind of that brown undertone to it and what I'm going to try to do is take a picture from the back so a picture of the back of this one and then with this one on so maybe you can compare the two to see how they look but I believe this one's definitely closer than the salted caramel from John Renault.